Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today is another kitten up. This is of this little picture I got here. Um, this is from Crystal Craft. I just had to have a look for the box then because I had absolutely no idea. It's a little like sparkly or it will be sparkly um colorful zebras and the thing with this one is it is already on a canvas so once you've done it it is ready to go straight on the wall it is just a partial but if you are interested in finding out more about this then please look at the unboxing video but today we're kitting it up just because i realized i can't actually get a light pad underneath this so i'm gonna have to do it sort of during the day hence at the weekend because i don't have time during the week to do it during the day so it'll have to be when it's light enough that i can see so we are going to kit it up so these are the things that came in the bag so these are all um non-resealable bags probably the best way to describe it uh, but it comes with enough resealable baggies for all of these colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them all into resealable bags and then stick them all in this little very bright yellow um, mesh bag. So it's an A5 one. I got a set of 18 I believe or 16. Um, from Amazon I will leave the link to them in the description and also to the unboxing of these so what I'm going to do is get all the drills out and also let me just get my little trash can that's so American by the way this is more like a wheelie bin okay so um what we're gonna do i'm just gonna move the picture out of the way and this is the little pen that came with it and i'm gonna get out all the baggies and it comes with a little bow and some wax so they can go away at another point so i believe They will come in order. Yeah, so here is the start. Here's number one. So get my scissors. So I actually think that the DMC numbers are on the bags, but not on the little inventory sheet. So I think what we're going to have to do is write the DMC codes on the stickers to go on the bags. So we have i'll just do the first three i think at once we break it up into like threes makes it a lot easier to work with so one five four one five nine and three two one is our first dmc numbers so the easiest way probably to get bag to bag is via the tray so i'm gonna Pour these into the little tray. I'm just using the one that came with the kit. In all honesty, I can't be bothered to get everything out. So I might as well just use what comes with the kit. So I'm going to take one of their little bags. Just put a finger down first because if not, your, your drills won't go all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going to slowly pour the drills into the bag and that's it and then just seal it up and put 154 on it which was the first number there we go and into my yellow bag so I mean the next one is 159 maybe there is a way of doing it without putting them in the tray first so 
So what I'm going to try and do is slit across the entirety of the top of the bag then kind of fold it in half a little so that I can fit the entire top of my bag in the little baggies and then just have all the drills come out oh that did not work guys not really because I've got some stuck drills that are being like really pains in the bum with that one so don't do that we'll put them we'll do the extra step We'll put it into the tray because now I'm having to pick drills off of my side and not know where the hell they are. Okay. Maybe, I mean, I could have done that better, but who knows? Maybe if it's not that full, I don't know. We might try it again. <laughs> just because I really don't want to have to do the extra step of putting it into the tray and then putting the tray into the bag and that's just extra work isn't it <laughs> okay so open the little baggy There we go, that works. If you don't try to shove the entirety of the bag into the little baggies, it does it a lot easier. Okay, and then three, two, one. Is that one. Okay, so let's do the next three so up to number six now so these are DMC numbers four one three um five five zero and five six two okay so I think we can avoid the little tray. We just have to be smart about it. So we need to just pull slowly, kind of make a bit of a um, spout with the bag. And just tip kind of slower. And that's it that helps so I was just like doing it wrong when I did that other bag and it just all went everywhere um so that one was four and three I wasn't actually going to do a kitten up video for this just because I was just going to work straight out the bags I do think it's going to take me a little bit longer than one sort of sitting to do the painting I don't think it should take me too long um, but nevertheless, I still think I need them all in these uh, resealable bags. It's just going to make life so much easier. I actually bought my mum a diamond painting uh, for her birthday. It's not a birthday yet, but it came yesterday. And... I basically couldn't wait to give it her plus closer to her birthday she's got to have an operation so she'll probably be a bit not wanting to diamond paint I guess when she's had it at first you know which will probably be basically around her birthday so I thought oh if I give it her now you know she's enthusiastic to try one I got her it was a painting of Chewbacca <laughs> Um, from Star Wars if you don't know who Chewbacca is she's 
she loves Chewbacca. So I got her a little Chewbacca diamond painting, only a tiny one. It's like 20 by 25. Really small but actually quite good quality. Um, I'm not putting it on my channel because my channel is for me, <laughs> basically. It needs to be diamond paintings for myself um, because I want it as kind of a diary almost of what I've done. So that's why it's not on the channel, I'm afraid. But um, yeah, she started doing it yesterday but they came in and this is the only painting that I've ever personally had. Well, it's not my painting, but that I've seen up close. That already came with diamonds in grip seal baggies. And that made it such a dream to get up. Such a dream. And she's actually going to keep them to... So she can create her own little like spare storage. Because they come with labels on with the DMC codes and everything. So, super easy. I always find reds are the most staticest drills out of the lot. Come on. I can't remember how, how many colours there is in this. Oh, 21. 21 colours. And we are on number 6. I'm having to reach round a strange way to get it. Hmm, no, that was number seven, sorry. We're on to number seven. Number sure I've got this colour I'd have to check the DMC number but in one of the paintings I'm doing currently uh, one with melting for from Diamond Art Club and it is one of my favourite colours in that painting a lovely like um, I'm thinking the word magenta I reckon is what that colour is oh there's some left in the bag that haven't come out and I didn't see them yeah definitely reds and pinks tend to be in my experience the more static -y colours right so that's number eight number nine So yeah, I just want to get this painting done like at the weekend when I can. I think I'm just going to, when I've done it, not keep it because it's on a canvas, but maybe give it to my um, mum to take into work because she's got a few colleagues with like little daughters and stuff. Or even um, one of the people she cares for can have it if they want it. It's a nice girly painting. But like I said in the unboxing video of it, I just wanted to try it out. You know, I, uh, 797. Um, 807. And 838. Sorry, I just need to say them. It's like, I'm writing it down. I must have write the wrong number. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's a nice, a nice image for like a girl's room but I like I said in my unboxing I just wanted to try these out I've not had something like this before where it was already on the canvas and I've not had anything from crystal crafts as it's called and it was six pound I believe which oh my god that is so cheap for something that you can find in a store anyway and that's it's a partial but it's a decent partial like it's got plenty of colours like obviously we've got 21 colours here it will take me you know relatively normal amount of time to do so 
so for me six pound is an utter steal I hate little trails that just get stuck at the top of the bag there we go I have to like open it really weird to get them out and it's still not coming out come on little trail you know what I'm leaving it <laughs> I'm leaving it because it's just been annoying and this video would just be me trying to get stubborn drills out okay so number 12 yeah it's so important that you like get your finger basically in the um baggies first to try to open them up a bit otherwise they all just sit just right at the top and if you've got you know a relatively large amount to put in them you're going to have major overspill eight three eight is number 12 okay now we're going up to number 15 So 939, oh, I wrote 938, rubbish. And now the sticker is stuck on my nail. Come on. I'm like fighting with the sticker right now. Right, stopped fighting with it. 939, should I say? nine four five and nine seven seven okay so I'm definitely not using my usual technique of kitting this up basically because I don't have any more um containers for the time being I gave my mum my little like I would say I would call them like pill storage you know the one that, the ones that have 28 in them that would usually be what I use for something like this but like I said I've just gave it to my mum to use because you know I'm the one that's tried to get her to do a diamond painting so I need to help her out a little bit right so and for the sake of doing this for the sake of like how many like colours there is not a lot being I may as well just use the baggies provided because they give you you know everything you need to give you the correct amount of baggies which is very good really for a kit like this they've provided you with potentially everything you need um if this is like your first diamond painting there is nothing else that you need to go out particularly and buy to be able to do it obviously we all know that you know when it comes to diamond painting if you are you know interested in diamond painting there's accessories that you know we may we may say is essential but that's because we do it all the time and you know we want to make it as enjoyable as possible but I mean, I definitely didn't buy anything with my first. Oh, I tell a lie. I actually bought the little like pill storage bottles things. For, like two pound with the diamond painting. Like it came up at the checkout. Like, do you want to add these onto your order? And I was like, huh? Yeah, why not? They're two quid. Um. So that was it. I used the pen that came with it. I used the works that came with it. I used. The drills obviously that came with it i used the tray that came with it i bought nothing and then it wasn't until midway through that when i decided i really like this that i went on i purchased another and i purchased like some large trays and a, a nice pen i wouldn't even call that pen nice anymore 
the one that I purchased. So, uh, three, we're on to four digits now, 3607, 3609, 3705. Flinging them all over the place. So yeah, I think that it's a nice kit to give somebody to try out for six pound. Um, but obviously, I wanted to do this, like I said, to kind of see what it was like, to give kind of a review to to you guys, to see how it fares like doing. A painting that's already mounted so I'm assuming it'll take a little bit of getting used to but it feels very weird at first um, for me anyway so yeah I did I did want to try it and like I say you can't exactly put your light pad underneath it with it being already on a canvas so you would need to be comfortable with that and like I said I am just going to attempt to do it during the day at the weekend so it might take me a couple of weekends it might just take me this weekend I don't know it looks like it's a relatively like decent size partial like although it is partial it looks like majority of it is uh, diamond painting so it may take me longer than I'm actually you know talking about here but we shall see we shall see I may even end up giving up and giving it to my mum if she finishes her little tube back and wants another one before she gets one in the post she hasn't ordered any yet but she likes it's like a cartoon Chewbacca and she likes all the other cartoon Star Wars characters that are like part of the set so I think she's going to get that so essentially three more colours to do so we've got 3804 Three eight three five and five thousand two hundred, which is like sometimes it's B five thousand two hundred because it's pure white. Oh gosh, they've only gave us actually two bags, so we are one bag short for the white. So I may need to be a bit naughty and steal one another kit because I do have kits that come with like the spare baggies I don't really use them for anything else because they're not the best quality sorry my camera cut out you know what I looked at it a few minutes ago and I was like okay I've got like four minutes remaining don't know where it kept cut out I'm nearly at the end but I do need to just grab another one of these crappy baggies as I would say from um, another kit because they have given me 20 and I need 21 so let me do that Okay, I'm back with a final baggie. Yeah, I get them in other kits, but I don't tend to use them. Okay, so I've got two bags of white. So one bag 
is going straight in because two bags are not going to fit in this tiny baggie and I'll just top it up when I need them but yeah I do have tiny baggies from other kits I don't use them at all because they are kind of rubbish apart from things like this um, just like if I've got overfill that I need to go into a bag that's when I use the tiny baggies I do have some in my storage I need to get rid of they're on the diamond dot side because I was too eager and wanted to start putting stuff in spare storage and I was waiting on my bags to come oh so that is them all done so I'm going to put this little inventory sheet in here to tell me what painting it's from and that is essentially me done I can put uh, the little boat if I can get it in the little pen and the little wax in the tray that they came with just because I'll sort the like kits out at a later date and what I do is with the bag that all the drills came in that's where I just empty my little bin back into this doesn't always go smoothly especially not this time because it's a really small plastic bag and then you can wrap that up and all them go into your bin all together so that is it I am all kitted up thank you ever so much for watching today's video I really appreciate all your support if you aren't already subscribed to my channel then please please hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications to be notified whenever I post a video if you did like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and any comments that you leave I will be sure to reply to. So that's all from me and I will see you in the next one.